Amazon Web Services Create Identity and Access Management User and Group. This will be a quick video tutorial on how we can make use of AWS IAM to administer our cloud infra in the AWS. Of course, you can use the account you have provided when you have signed up with AWS and that will be the root user. So on your left, you could make use of the root user when you sign in to the AWS Management Console. But for day-to-day -day infra tasks, it is recommended to use an IAM user instead of a root user. Reason being is that your root user has privileges that you don't actually need when you just want to manage your cloud infrastructure. Unnecessary or too much privileges such as billing and cost management console or even close your AWS account. So on your right, when there is an IAM user configured or created, you need to supply first the 12 digit account ID or account alias if it is created. But for the meantime, without an IAM user, you need to log in first as a root user and create an IAM user from there. So we are at the AWS Management Console landing page. So this is the URL. So all we need to do is to click this sign in to the console and we will be on that login page where we showed earlier. So let's click on the sign in to the console. It should give us the login page. So we have the options for root user and I am user. So if we click on I am user, we are required to key in the account ID. But again, we don't have the I am user. So we will just select the root user for now. So I will type in the root user email address for demonstration and click next. So let me type the root user for our AWS account and click next and for type in the password as well so let me paste the password and click sign in so I don't have any MFA or a multi-factor authentication configured yet so yes we are able to log in on our AWS so here under search for services or features or blogs, we'll just type in I am identity and access management. So we'll click on this service and we should be taken to the I am management console. And yes, we are here identity and access management console. So from the identity and access management, it will tell you to add MFA for the root user and the root user has no active access keys. But for this video tutorial, we are more concerned on we don't have any users yet. We don't have any groups. And yes, there is or there are default roles. So if you go and right click to new tab and see what are those default roles so you have the aws service role for support and aws service role for trusted advisor so on the left side you could see that it's where we could create the users so let's click on this one and it should take us to the user and from here we could click the add users all right let's click the add users So it should ask us for the username and the AWS access type. So we could add multiple users, but for this demonstration, we will just add one user. So let's instance, uh, let's have the INQ demo admin. And for the AWS credential type, so we will just make use of a password. And for the console password, let's just accept the auto-generated password. Okay, user must create a new password and next sign in. So we'll uncheck that so that we would just accept the auto-generated password. So click next. Next, we don't have any groups. So you haven't created any groups yet. So let's click the create group. 
So for our group name, we'll just name the group as INQ AWS admin. For the policy, so we have certain policy name, but for our case, we will grant this INQ AWS admin with the administrator access. So there are 767 policies that we could select, but for our case, let's just select the administrator access, which provides full access to AWS services and resources. And we click the create group. So our INQ demo admin user will be added to this INQ AWS admin, which has an attached administrator access policy. So next will be tags. So let's click tags. So a tag in AWS is a label that you can assign to an AWS resource. For example, this one is a user. So tags enable you to categorize your AWS resources in different ways. For example, by purpose, owner, or environment. And you can add 50 more tags based on this. We will revisit tags in our future video tutorial. So for now, let's click next. So here you could review what the choices you have made in creating the user. For instance, the password in case you want to type it yourself rather than auto-generated, you can click the previous. However, if these are all okay, then you can go ahead and click the create user. So remember, you can view and download the auto-generated password and access key thereafter. So you could also review the permission summary that is given to this user. So in the future, should you will create another user that don't require full administrator rights, so you could review the specific permissions that will be assigned to that IAM user. So without further ado, let's click and create this user. Okay, so successfully created the user as shown below and you have the password and you can also send the instructions via email. So we now have this user, INQ demo admin. So all we need to do is to sign in via IAM with this user. So this time we are back at the AWS console login and we will select the IAM user and we'll provide the account ID and we'll click next. We'll paste the account ID as we don't have the account alias yet. Click next. So we are now required to key in the IAM username and password. So let me paste the IAM username. Next will be the password and click sign in. So don't click the remember this account for now. So click sign in and you should be able to sign in and you should have the now the access to the AWS management console.